YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy DBK, so we are back with another video. Gotta give a shout out to all the old subscribers, new subscribers, everybody passing through, showing love to the videos. Greatly appreciate it. Welcome to the channel. Go ahead, hit that red button, man. Subscribe to your boy. Greatly appreciate it. We're working, we're grinding every day. And I know some of you guys have kind of been asking for different kinds of videos, or not necessarily different, but, you know, add some more variety to the channel, and definitely can do that. So that's what we're gonna do today. I used to do this kind of when I started back the channel of like back a few months ago. Uh, we're about midway through August right now. So we'll talk about some key releases starting from today all the way throughout the end of August. Now I'm not going to cover every single release. Uh, Nike moves dates all the time. Jordan Brand does the same thing. Adidas, Puma, you know, dates just change. Shoes just randomly drop every day almost. So I cannot cover everything of course, but I will cover just a couple of key releases. Some stuff that I'm looking at right here, sneakers app, you know, foot lockers, etc. So I'll be in and out on my phone. So we'll go ahead and get into some releases right now. We got something for the ladies. Now this shoe already came out, but it looks like the I'm looking at it right now, it looks like they're restocking it. This is the women's zoom vista grind. Zoom X Vista grind. It's like one of those chunky shoes. It's like crazy. Yeah, this is crazy looking. These are going to drop August 21st on the sneakers app. Um, this is the definite pass for me. I think it's dope for ladies or whatever. And I think even some guys could probably pull it off. But me personally, it's just it's straight up not for me. And um, I think these would be pretty easy to get. As far as resale wise, what the prices are looking like. You know what? We'll talk about resale prices too. Because I know some people like to hear that. But these are going to be retailing at $160 at currently right now. I'm looking at my size. I'm the money size, so you know, look, think of this as like a worst case scenario. So prices right now are only like 150. So you'll be able to get these pretty easy, ladies, if you want these. Retail is 160, and these are gonna be dropping August 21st. Next up, I definitely want to talk about these real quick. So this is the Air Jordan 12 white university red aka FIBA it's an all white Jordan 12 looks like it's got some type of uh, I think Chinese graphics on it FIBA is simply the World Cup of Basketball so we have an Air Jordan 12 in celebration of that and I think they're gonna throw in some more shoes as well uh, the release date on these is now I'm kind of going in order kind of not release date on, release date on this shoe is August 23rd retail $190 now, do I think these will sell out? I don't think they'll sell out at all. Um, I think they'll sit, and they are a super GR, so these will be be available at every single like Foot Locker. I, actually, I'm gonna throw up the the launch locator map for you guys so you can look at that. So these are gonna be available like everywhere. But um, honestly, at first I was like, no, these are trash. And I'm scrolling through the photos, and it's it's honestly a really clean Jordan 12. It's all white, a little bit of red and gold. Um, not bad, but I feel like it's just something we've already seen before when it comes to these international Jordans Sometimes it seems like it's always a 12. So I don't understand why why it's always the Jordan 12 If you guys might know hey, let me know but these are gonna be a definite pass for me But um, I think if you guys be patient you could probably get these under retail Currently right now actually currently right now these are going for like 247 average about 250 in my size Retail is 190, but that's early. So once they come out, you guys just be patient. If you want the shoe, get it on release day. If not, if you want to kind of just wait and hold off, I'd say wait and hold off and get them for maybe like 160, 170 if you can. Use your coupons, y'all. All right, so next shoe that I got on my list right here, this this is interesting. So we got the Nike Shocks BB4. These are gonna be releasing at Foot Lockers, and I'm assuming Foot Action Champs as well. Right, I'm not sure what retail is, but I'm guessing about 160. So this is the um it's not telling you in the description, but if you kind of know you were there, then you know. So this is a Vince Carter shock right here. So Toronto Raptors. These, these are dope, man. I, I mean I like them. Am I gonna cop? No, I'm not gonna cop them. Like I said, we get so many releases now. I'm not gonna cop these. Definite pass for me, but I respect it. Um I think this is dope for nostalgia purposes. I don't know if this is an OG colorway or not, and these are definitely going to sit. So, hey, if you want to be patient and wait, get them for cheaper, I definitely advise that. Alright, so one sneaker that I forgot, we have the Air Jordan 10 
all camo. Now there's supposed to be two versions of this shoe. Right now on the launch locator, I'm only seeing one from Foot Locker. Um, it's just an all camo Air Jordan 10 with like a canvas type upper, olive green stripes on the bottom. Uh, I don't think these are bad, to be honest. Am I gonna get them? No, I'm not gonna cop. Um, do I think the retail should be 190? Do I think that they're gonna sell out? You know, see, here's the thing. This is one of those shoes I feel like we're, we're all gonna think, oh no, it's gonna sit. I think these are gonna sell. I'm just, I'm gonna call it now. Y'all can come back and call me wrong later. But this camo 10, I think it's gonna sell pretty well. Certain areas are gonna like this shoe. Certain, you know, certain people are gonna like this type of shoe. Like, it is what it is. I, I don't think it looks that bad for, you know, for a camo Jordan. It's not that bad. But retail is gonna be 190. Um, I don't think they're gonna flip at all. So if you guys are gonna want these, I think they'll be readily available. Cop from Foot Locker, probably your foot actions. And definitely the sneakers app is gonna have these. So we got the Air Jordan 1 Obsidian and we have this Camo 10 all in the same day. Man, this is this is this shit was dope. So this is the Air Jordan 1 High OG Sale Obsidian University Blue, aka UNC, aka Obsidian. Who cares about the nickname? It's a dope Jordan 1. So you got like a sale upper mixed with navy blue, university blue. And it's just fire, man. From the videos that I've seen from some of the guys that already have pairs, the quality on these things are absolutely fire. So I'm looking at Foot Locker right now as we speak. So these are definitely going to be coming out. I think they'll be available pretty much everywhere from what I'm hearing. Don't expect these to be an easy cop. Currently right now, on money size, like I said, resale prices are going for about 500 bucks. Are these going to sell out? Hell yeah. <laughs> So usually a lot of times what will happen, some of your Jordan 1s, your Jordan 1s in maybe size like 12, 10 and a half, 9 and a half, the big sizes, they sit. These ain't sitting. These are going to sell all the way from grade school all the way up to the biggest size. I promise you that. But um, this is my favorite shoe for the month of August. Y'all probably going to kill me for that. I like these better than the satin black toes. Not saying I like it better than the black toe, but I like it better than the satin black toe by far, in my opinion. So... Speaking of that, I took a fat L. You know, I tried, I did everything I could. It is what it is. I lost. But I, I gotta, I gotta ask the wife over here. So, do you remember what those look like? Sound black toe? No, no. The, uh, the high OGs, the obsidians. Did you see those? Did I show you those? Um, it's like blue. Yeah, the, the blue cream? leather with the cream. Yes. So as I did state, so these are going for about five fifty. My prediction on this, I feel like they're definitely going to sell out. But when they come out, I think they will dip to like the 350, 400 range in that size 8. And I think once it's gone, like pairs are out there, people don't sold them. Give it like a week or two, I think they're going to jump right back up. So earlier this year, we did get the Blue Chill version. Alright, so this is the version that we got earlier this year. This is the women's release though. Um... And these are dope too, man. You know, sometimes your opinion changes on shoes over time. I've yet to wear these. You know, I'm kind of, I'm trying to get better with, like, you know, if I'm not wearing it, I feel like that I don't need it. So I'll get rid of it. And this one might be going, it's, it's dope. Like it's all patent leather, but I feel like it's just not going to age well. And wearing this, like having this one and then having the obsidians together, I don't really need it. Give me the leather ones, like straight up. Like I've yet... This shoe came out All-Star Weekend. And that, that just goes to show you, like, I, I still haven't touched it. She doesn't like these that much as well because the patent leather. So, yeah, these are probably these are probably going to go really soon. So, we got some stuff, it looks like. Let's move on to the Adidas section. So, we got some stuff coming from Pharrell. Um, August 26th, we got some Solar Glide Hues. So, what these are going to be, these are going to be, I believe, a yellow pair, a cream and white, all gray. I can't remember the other one. I feel like there's, like, four colors. And these are dope. I think uh, the Pharrell Hughes, they're a lot cheaper than the NMD. I think they retail for about 150 if I can remember correctly. Multiple colorways. They're not showing locations yet where they're going to be at. But I definitely look out for your, your boutiques, adidas.com, certain foot lockers because they're on the lock locator. Right now, do I think that these are going to sell out? I don't know. It's hard to say. But I think they'll do decent i think the real real people that really love adidas will get them but i think they'll be readily easy to get um are they gonna resell i don't think they'll resell at all uh, we, we can look up a pair right now on stock x 
Yeah, they didn't, I don't know. I don't see no pairs that's been sold yet. <laughs> so there, there you have it. So I think these will be pretty easy to get for you guys if you're actually going for these. So the Pharrell pack and multiple colorways. These are loaded on the Foot Locker launch locators right now. So if you live in some of these areas, I'm gonna throw up a map right here just so you guys give you guys an idea of how readily available this is gonna be. This is the Yeezy 500 and the Light Bone. Now a lot of times with Yeezy, we get a lot of stuff that kind of looks exactly the same back to back. And I know people complain about that, but let's be real, Jordan brand, they do the same thing sometimes with Jordan 1s. You know what I'm saying? But I think what's different with Adidas is they all, they, they look so closely to each other. That's the problem that we have. That's the problem that I have. But without with, with that being said, the Yeezy 500 Light Bone retail $200. These are released in August 24th. Will these sell out? Absolutely. Um, I definitely, I, I want to copy these. I really do. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I want to because I never tried a 500. I've heard nothing but good things about it. But it's like a light bone, real like cream type color. It looks like, kind of looks like a blush, but you know, it is what it is. I don't have any of them, so it's new to me. Uh, predictions. Is it going to sell out? Definitely going to sell out right now. Uh, pairs in my size are going for about 340 to like 400 I believe early so that, I, I feel like once they come out they'll dip a little bit maybe to 300 and then after a while they're gonna go back up because all the 500s have shot up um, I know those utility blacks I, I still I'm still mad to this day I had a friend that had a couple of them and you know she asked me do you want one I was like no nah, I'm good I'm good and then Later on, damn, four, so four fifty, five hundred dollars later, whatever it is. So, so there you have it, guys. Those are some of the key August releases that are coming up. A little bit of everything. Some Nike shocks, got some Zoom Vista grinds, etc. Yeezys. Like I said, I can't cover every single shoe, but those are just some that kind of stood out to me that I thought were pretty good. So, comment down below. What do you guys? What are you going for for the rest of August? What's your favorite shoe from this list? You know, or period? Is there something I missed? I don't know, but to me, the Jordan 1 Obsidian, that's my number one pick, and I I really like that Light Bone 500. If I get a chance to cop, I probably won't. I don't know, but I'm, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to get a pair, but we are out.